Welcome. In this example, we're going to take a look at how to put a field in a word form and set it up so that when someone enters information in that field, it populates other areas of the form as well. We'll also take a look at how to add uh, numbers up automatically. So we'll start with the field. So here, let's say that after the word dear, I want to put the person's name. And the person filling out this form will type that in. So what I want to do is insert a text field here. Now I'm using Word 2007, and I'm going to use the what we call the legacy tools in Word 2007, which is the type of form fields that were available in older versions of Word as well. So if you have Word 2000 through 2003, you can do the exact same thing. You'll just find the fields on your form toolbar, whereas we get them off the developer ribbon. If you don't have the developer ribbon showing in Word 2007, you want to go to your office button, Word Options, and check the Show Developer tab in the ribbon checkbox. On my developer tab, I have in the controls group a control for legacy tools. And I've got my cursor where I want the field, so I'm just going to click the text form field button and it inserted the field. Now I could either right click and choose properties or I could just double click it. Both will bring up the text form field options. There are two things I want to do here. One is I want to give it a name that means something to me. I'll just say client name. And then I also want to tell it to calculate on exit. This is what will cause it to force the information that's put into it into our reference fields, which I'll show you how to put in next. Now if I want, I could give it some default text here. I'm not going to initially though, I'm just going to say OK. There's my field. Now let's do some fields also for the items that this person purchased that they need to send us money for. And I'm going to do a little tab setting here. I'm going to click my tab button next to the ruler until I get the upside down T with a dot because that is a decimal tab. And it will cause items to line up by the decimal point. So I'm going to grab these paragraphs here and set a decimal tab. We'll just say right about here. We'll have them line up by the decimal point. What that means is if I press the tab key, whatever I type will line up by the decimal point under that. Now I'm going to turn Show Hide on so you can see what I'm doing. You can see the little arrow here, I type the tab key. Now I'm going to insert the fields that I want. So back to Developer, Legacy Tools, and um, put a field in. And I'm going to do that for all of these. So tab add my field. Okay, I've gone ahead and put four in here. We'll come back to these in a minute. Let's talk first about what to do to get the text that's put in the deer field to show up. I'm going to go where I want that it to show up. So I'm saying, dear so-and-so, this is a note written to so-and-so. So I want their name to reappear here. So in older versions of Word, I would say insert field. In Word 2007, we're going to do insert quick parts field. Same for Word 2010. And the field we're looking for is called a reference field. You can see up at the top here that I have all selected. So these are all going to show up in alphabetical order. So here's reference. And there are some different options I could do here, but all I really need to do to accomplish what I want is select the right field. In this case, it's the one called client name. I will say OK. It put the field in. Now, notice that nothing shows up here. If I turn show hide off, I don't see anything. A little disconcerting. This will fill in when someone fills information in here. Or if you're working on the form, if you press Alt F9 on the keyboard, it toggles you between displaying the codes and displaying the fields. So I'm pressing Alt F9. And you can see when you press Alt F9, you can see the field. So I just wanted to point that out to you so nobody panics. Now what I probably would have really done, let me get rid of that, is when I did my field here, I would have given it some default text, like some information to the person getting this type name here. This way, when I put the reference field in, insert, quick parts, field, reference, client name, OK, 
it fills it in with that default text right away so that I, I don't see this weird blank space in my document and think there's nothing there. Now, for the fields that we want to add up, I'm going to do similar to them. So I'm going to double click dress, give it a name that means something to me, and tell it to calculate on exit. And also say the type is a number so that when people go to fill it in they have to put a number because if we're telling it to calculate and something else is trying to add it up and it's not a number we're gonna have a problem. I can choose a format as well if I want to make sure this looks like money. Now I'm gonna do that for all three of these dress shoes and jewelry. Okay, so for all three of these, I've set them up so they're a number. They have number formatting that I want. They have a name that means something to me. And calculate on exit is checked. That is key. Now, I'm going to go to the total field. And I'm going to double click it. And we're going to switch it from being regular text to being a calculation. And here, we say a calculation of what? Well, I want dress plus shoes plus jewelry. I hope I spelt that right each time. Now, I could just remember these. If I couldn't remember them, I could go double click those fields again and and look at what they are. What I do sometimes when I have longer, more complex names is I'll actually go in and copy and paste each of their names into Notepad or another Word document and set my little equals this plus this plus that up there, copy and paste that in here. That makes sense. Um, just so that I don't have to deal with typos, which I am known for. Now I'll name this as the total due. Sounds good to me. And I'm going to say OK. Now the reason this one jumped over is because these are aligned by the decimal point, And there are no decimal points in these other numbers. If I wanted, I could go in and put a default number that has a decimal point. But it's not really necessary because when we set these up and we gave them the formatting, we said that it would have the two decimal points you see here under number format. So when people enter information into them, it will put the decimal points and they will line up. Let's see if my predictions are correct. So I need to protect my form now so that it acts like a form. In the older versions of Word, you just click the padlock, and it's up to you whether or not you want to give it a password, the padlock on the forms toolbar. In this version of Word, back in my Developer tab, I need to tell it that I want to protect my document, restrict formatting and editing. That turns this pane on, where I can say, uh, allow only this type of editing, filling in a forms, yes, start protection. This little dialog box comes up, say OK. I, I'm not going to give it a password, but here's where I could if I wanted to. But now it's going to behave like a form. So let's see what happens. Somebody comes along. Now watch when I press the tab key, what happens where it says type name here becomes Jane Doe. As soon as I leave it, it calculates and it fills in that reference field that we put in. Now for the dress and shoes, as soon as I leave that field, you can see each of them calculates for the total. And there you go. Thanks for joining us. We hope you found this YouTube tip helpful. We'd like to invite you to visit us on our website, lawofficesolution.com. When you get there, you can see more videos of some of our custom word programming at Solutions, Sample Solutions. We specialize in assisting law firms with Word, but we'll help anyone. In addition to customizing Word, we offer training, courseware, and help desk services. And we have more free tips and tricks on our website, plus a free forum where you can ask your own software questions and get answers from us. We'll see you at LawOfficeSolution.com.